Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got a haul here from Michael's and the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to share what I got. Let me grab this out. I got this for the grandchildren to put in their Halloween. I'm working on a bag for that. And I got myself a witch hat, which I'm going to wear for work. And I got to work on that. I got to doctor it up a little bit. These, the hat was half price. So the candy wasn't. The, the Day of the Dead were not. But the hat was marked down to, what was it? I'm not sure what it was. I'll find it. They had some really cool stuff in it, Michael. I got some Christmas and Halloween stuff. And I'll put this. Okay. So they had these. These were half price. So they were regularly $9.99 and it was for halloween it had bats but i just like the colors with the browns and the blacks and the whites and really there's only like two here like with spider webs and bats on it oh and yeah this says halloween uh but this way i didn't have to buy a bunch it says there's a yard there's 25 pieces and there's pretty much in here for what I need to use it for, but I thought it was really cute. And then I grabbed this one, and this has 30 pieces in, and this also was uh, $9.95, but it was half price to, oh, probably five something, five thirty-nine, but. I loved that it had the greens, it says boo, and then it has this uh, ging, or I don't know, is this a ging in? I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, grow grain, I think it is. And then it had this purple, light purple with like an iridescent with the pumpkins. And I loved that it had the cats and then little tiny pumpkins. And then it had skulls. And the black and then the purple with the eyeballs the green eyeballs so yeah i thought this would be cute to keep in my stash for uh halloween i don't know what i'm doing with it yet i definitely am going to be working on that hat this hat said it was 14.99 so i probably did get it for seven something i honestly do not see it on here that she charged me for it, Lollipop. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. But I get, also, I'm getting old. So I got a senior discount also on it. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so I saw Recollection <coughs> has these stencils. I'm going to do a little quick video with it. But um, it's three pieces, the tree, and they're numbered, and the house, well, the roof, and then the, the background, and then you will layer it. And it looks like it's going to make, yeah, an A2, uh, like a horizon, or a landscape. But um, it had the house... And then, and like, each layer and everything. So I thought, oh, that's, that's nice. I thought and it's on, uh, like, a thicker acetate. So I'm going to try that, and I'll put that up when I get that done. Also, I got the recollection. Um, I thought this was cute with the reeves and the, the two different bows, and it has the die cuts for... My guess is this reef is for this one. You could, probably could use it for that. And then uh, this one here, you probably can use it for that too if you fussy cut it. But I just liked it for the two bows and that, it was different. 
And uh, this wasn't on sale, though. I don't think I got this on sale. Yeah, I did. I got 10% off of it because, like I said, I'm a senior citizen. <clears throat> if you sign up and they have you as a senior citizen, you get your 10%. Then I saw these. And um, this recollection, I grabbed four packs of the paper six by six. I like doing cards with the six by six pads because they're smaller prints and everything and they make cute cards. Let me open this up. And what was really nice was this was on decor. It was a uh, double sided. So I was like, yes, this is what I need to work on Christmas cards. Pull this, pull this one down, tape some. But I just want to show you. It looks like they're giving uh, two patterns of each. So this is this was more for the, all the reds. Noel. This was five ninety nine, but I got this for five thirty nine. And. I really thought it was cute with um, patterns, stripe, and then the ephemera pieces, the cutouts, and then this, the wording, the Christmas trees. Now it is a nice size cardstock. Uh, it seems like the six by six always have it nice. I like this one too. Oh, that's pretty, too. Oh, this is cute, too. You could do something really cool with that. And then this is, like, uh, 25 days of Christmas. That would probably have to be done on a 6x6 six six card. Or just use the pink for the snowflakes. I like this, too, though. Candy cane stripe. Candy cane striping. And then it has, like, the mints. Peppermints. Peppermint wishes. Trees. Oh, and cute tags. I didn't get to see this. I like that, too. And more cut aparts. And the red snowflakes. So that was one pack. And then I saw this. It was uh, called High Shine. Right? It's got to cut. I should have cut these open before I started the video, but I wanted to show you. Hmm. Just fold this tape in because these are sticky. I'll leave this like this so you can see. But uh, this is done in gold. It's not foiled or anything. Oh, look. Look at that. That's really cute. See, I didn't get to really look at them good. There's Christmas trees. And these look like poinsettias. Merry, Merry and Bright. I like that too. Could do some and snowflakes. And then Jingle and Mingle. Cheers, dears. <laughs> Looks like there's two... Uh, Two to each print design. This is cute too for a nice background. I just never seen it in like this gold brown and I liked it. Oh, I like this too. This is for, more for a man. I like that. I don't know if I care for that though. Uh, that's okay. I like the other side better. Oh, that's cute too. I like the way they did that. The tags are cute. You fussy cut the tags out. Oh, I like the way they did this, too. And then you can make borders, cutting strips for borders, too. So that one. And then I saw this one. I think they had, like, six, six or seven. There was one in purple, pink-like. I kept looking at it, and I didn't know if I really cared for it. Uh, when I opened it up, I thought, oh, yeah, I like purple. But it just didn't 
it wasn't for Christmas for me for some reason. It it didn't uh, fit. This is the night before Christmas. And this plaid. And the wording, it's real fine wording. Lay your fingers aside of your nose. This is probably the story about Old St. Nick. And those stockings. Oh, these dots are uh, in red and green, real fine polka dot. Merry and bright. And then the cutaways. With the poinsettias. No ribbons. And there they have more poinsettias. This is more your greens and reds now. Oh, I like that. I really like that a lot. And then you can cut these strips and put them on your card. I use these strips too. I, I cut them down and put them uh, for uh, sentiments. That way, some different. I like this too, that's cute. There's real fine strips. And then it has the 25 days of Christmas. I don't know if I like that, though. That needs doctored up. And then cut aparts again. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Sleigh bells ringing. Have a very merry, very merry and bright Christmas. And there's that one. But there's 24 designs. And it's 134 pounds, but it's 180 GSM. So it's definitely that a nice thickness for um, adding to the fronts of cards. And then this one was cute. Sprinkle Shop Boutique. This has like the turquoise and pinks with a little bit of yellow, but I thought this was cute. I have a dye that um has a stove to bake. I thought that would be cute. Oh, and the candy canes are cute. Santa Sweet Shop Confection Cocoa made with Love Daily. Baking Spirit Bright. Because these definitely make a good um, sentiment to put on your tags. And then cutting these into strips. The tags are really cute. Oh, I like that too. Oh, that's cute too. Sugar cookies with them. Um, that's different too. Gingerbread houses. I do have a gingerbread dye too. Oh, that does remind me of gingerbread. Santa. Oh, I love the candies. Hot chocolate. I like this too. And it has a matte finish. It's not shiny. So you could stamp on top of this too. Or run it through your embossing folder. Oh, that's cute. Santa Claus. And peppermints again. And then this has a whole bunch of words. And then lollipops. Or maybe they're... Oh, they could be bells. Or baubles. What do they call them over in England? Okay. So, um, I'll show you when I do this. I'll make a video on this. And that's what I got at Michael's. And then a shipment came in uh, from my craft... Um, haul from HSN and I ordered Halloween I had a uh, cash because one of the prices dropped on something and I saw this and I didn't I wanted it uh, it's decoupage to do three layers from uh, crafters companion and she always does really cool stuff so you would lay one layer put this layer on top of this one and then this here on top or maybe in the front and then the hat 
So it would give you four layers. The same way with this, you'd be layering each layer one. I might use one of these to do on the hat. I'm not sure yet. So um, now this is a little bit thinner. So they gave you, there's two designs. And it looks like there's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five pages of those. And then you have two designs of this with the haunted house. Oh, oh the kitty cat's cute. So it looks like it's four again. And then they have the cauldron and the haunted house again. Yeah, so it is four. Four of everything. And then... Um, this came with, these came together as a packet from HSN. And I love her papers too. The same, it has the same feeling as, yep, it's 180 GSM. Is that what they were from Michael's? Yep. And she has double-sided papers too. And I love the way, now these are three patterns per paper. But... Because they're tiny and they look good on an A2 card. That's why I, I stick with uh, six by six pads. I like that that they have them. That you, I don't like that you have to cover one side, but I like the option that you have another uh, to pick from. This is cute to run in strips too. Oh, this is cute though with the potion bottles and the boo. Mm. And she stuck with it all in the, the greens and the oranges. It sort of muted out, so it gives you more of that Halloween look. <laughs> the whole scenery. I mean, you could just cut this and use this for another section or take it like this on a card, stand it up and decorate the other way. There's three designs, I thought I said. Yeah. And spider webs on here. And this one sort of looks the same. Oh no, they, they they put two witches on this one. And then the back. Yeah. So that was from HSM. Then I went to Michael's and I'm doing the granddaughters. I didn't know what to do. I, I saw these cups and I thought instead of making something, I bought, this is like an iridescent black and purple and I'm gonna decorate those. And got, I grabbed some Krabby Patties for them to stick in there. Um, and then, I found, I need some more, I always use these uh, things, and I bought some makeup pads for the older girls to put in theirs, and I found these lights, they're purple, so I'm going to like uh, take them out and rearrange everything, and I grabbed some of these mechanism pen pencils. They're like in rainbow colors, but they're all different. White, black, and like a translucent. Some lip gloss they had. And I grabbed another one of these. <laughs> and I saw this. And I was like, I don't know what I want to put in there yet, but I'm going to stick that in the, the packet too. I'll show you when I do it. There's another tape that I got. Okay. And I'm going to throw this back in the bag. I found this is also from the Dollar Tree. Oh, yeah, I like this. Uh, coconut shade butter. So I grabbed that for me. 
but they had this uh, mist maker light cauldron. It was for five bucks. But I thought this for my desk at work. I thought it was cute. So I'm going to do a video on this. This plugs into a USB, which is good. I can just plug it right into my computer. And you fill it up to, with water. And it's supposed to change colors. I was reading. It changes colors and it steams. And I thought, this is cute. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a video on this, on how I'm making it. I'm going to peel this sticker off because I don't want that sticker on. And I'm just going to keep the box so I can store it to, for next year when I sit at my desk. Then this way it's all taken. But it says, uh, don't go past the line. So I'm pretty sure it's not even going to be a cup of water that goes in here. But I, They had a skull's head and they were all sold out. All they had was a whole bunch of these cauldrons. So maybe yours has the skull head. But what I want to do with it, um, I thought would be really cute. So, that there. So this is about all I got, and I did, um, also I did some last night with um, Diamond Press had Beth's birthday bash, and I got a haul in there. I will share it when mine comes in. I that was a great deal with the four sets of dies. It really cute. I love the uh, beetle bug. And I thought that would be cute for, um, not only for Christmas, it could be used later on for uh, a guy's thing. I'm looking at this. I could paint this because it's oozing. And I might do that. I don't know what kind of paint I want to use, but because I don't want to keep it black. But, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and I hope that... Um, you are enjoying it thanks for liking and subscribing and like i said i'm working to get myself up to 2k um 2000 subscribers and i'm i am gradually building it up i'm i'm going to be putting together the the die set um peacock die set is going in a giveaway and uh, i'll just have a drawing once i hit that 2000 so I really appreciate it, everybody watching, and um, I'll get back to you and with more crafts. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.